Now I'm just gonna put four washers. Some of them go easy, some of them needs a little bit of persuasion. There we go. And hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work on my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And as you can see, I have some stuff scattered around the floor over here. And you probably noticed the recovery boards and the shovel over here. And those uni struts. So you, I guess you pretty much got an idea what I'm gonna be doing. Today I'm gonna be working on my roof rack. I'm gonna try to add these uni struts to the roof rack so I can mount the stuff on the roof. Since I don't have a winch or anything for recovery, I wanna have at least a minimum stuff. I want to have the recovery boards and a shovel so that's what i did i bought the recovery boards and a shovel so i'm gonna try to mount this stuff today so most of the stuff like this uni struts you can find them anywhere uh, any hardware store home depot Lowe's, or any other hardware store i also got this rod no matter of fact all of this stuff and majority of uh, like uh, nuts and bolts i got it for free from just from from the places where i work there is a lot of stuff that just goes into the garbage. The only thing I bought, I bought these brackets. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. They work pretty good. And I bought some material like that. So hopefully that's all we need, but we'll see. So right now I'm gonna measure the all to 48 inches and I'm gonna cut them on 48 inches. Uh, I believe that's gonna be the ideal length of them so we can utilize the roof to its maximum capacity. We can mount more stuff on, on it. So let's measure it and cut it. All right, we got all three of them cut to the right size. Now what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna go and position all of these brackets where we're gonna secure it. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna secure all of these brackets approximately where I'm gonna mount it. The only thing that this plastic, when it goes over the tubes, it's a little bit loose. So in this case, you have to use a little bit of a, like a rubber gas. So all I did, I just went to Home Depot and I bought a, a square piece of a rubber. It was six by six. And so I cut that rubber about one inch wide and it was only six by six. So as you can see, it's not all the way, but that should be fine for us. Anyways, it should secure it here. So now I'm going to slide it over and as you can see, I'm not making it tight yet, but this is this is already kind of grabbing pretty good. I'm gonna leave the link to these brackets in the description, and I'm also gonna leave the link to a different type of rubber that you can find on Amazon. It's already one inch wide, and it's I believe ten feet long or something like that for just ten bucks. So just to make it easier for you guys, but this was cheap as well. So now I'm just gonna slide this. Uh, you bolt over it there we go just needs a little bit of persuasion so now i'm gonna repeat i'm gonna put them all in place and then i'm gonna start measuring how far actually i'm gonna separate them great now all six of them in place i'm gonna start working my way from the back towards the front i know that the back one i want to put it all the way to the end to over here to maximize the space and then I will see where I'm gonna put the middle one and the front one. So let's do that. So this is gonna be something like that. And probably one of the holes over there is not gonna fit, so I have to enlarge it. And sure enough, one of these holes is doesn't really fit. So I have to make a new hole over here. So I'm gonna mark that and I'm gonna make new holes, something like that. All right, so the hole is done. Let's try it again. Let's hope it matches. Perfect. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to all the remaining two of them. I'm gonna measure where the holes has to be, drill it, and we're gonna mount it like that. All right, I pre-drill all the holes. I actually had to enlarge one of them, the like a third hole from the side on all of them, so it just fits slightly better. So now I'm gonna start measuring positioning how far i'm gonna separate them and we're gonna start tying them in so another thing all these balls are gonna be sticking out whenever i make it tight and i don't want that i want them to be flushed with the uh, with the unistrut so i'm gonna have to measure and cut them all slightly shorter so they at least flush with the, with the unistrut so i'm gonna have to cut all 12 of them and then we're gonna proceed with that so now 
I can start measuring everything where it's gonna be and I got these uh, strut nuts or whatever they call you can actually slide them from the top and then just twist them in place and still move them around whenever wherever you want them to be so that's pretty good and I changed my things around a little bit so this is not gonna be all the way to the back now because I'm planning to use these holes to secure it to the struts and they are 22 inch apart so that's gonna be something like that it's gonna be sticking out back a little bit but it should not interfere with the tailgate and then this is gonna be further to the front it's gonna be something like that so let's see and I also got a bunch of washers and a spring washer so I'm gonna put them in in there first to secure it better like that and then I'm gonna also use the spring washers just to be on the safe side and now we're gonna use the 14 millimeter bolts that they provided us and make it tight All right, that feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere, guys. So now I'm gonna secure the other side and I'm gonna measure the distance over here and secure it as well. And all right, guys, all the unit struts are secured and they're very sturdy, they're not going anywhere. So I spaced out these two ones, uh, 22 to the middle. That's where my recovery board's gonna go. And this one at the front, I spaced it out at 17 and a half to have enough space for the handle and just whatever I'm gonna secure it over there now I know I'm not painting them yet because I want to run them like that for some time and see maybe I'm gonna make them shorter maybe I'm gonna replace them for longer ones or something I want to run it like that for some time and then we'll see and then we'll paint it or who knows maybe I'll get something even different maybe I remove these bars and I get a whole new roof rack who knows but I also picked up this rubber bushings that go on the side over here that way you're not gonna cut yourself working or trying to get something from the top so let's put this little cherry on top of a pie <laughs> and they go very secure there we go that that looks better already so now I'm gonna put this on all of them and we're gonna start mounting our boards and measuring how high we're gonna need the struts all right guys we're getting there so now I'm gonna put the two boards over here and I'm gonna measure how high I need the, the bracket I figured I'm gonna put the recovery boards on the driver's side something like that so that would be I think that will be good right here like that Alright guys, I think that's where I'm gonna put my recovery boards so they kind of in the middle over here and I have still a lot more space in the middle of the roof I might put a big uh, wet box or however they call it over there and I still gotta mount a shovel over there so yeah so now I'm just gonna measure the height of the of the struts I'm gonna be using here which are gonna be probably I'm gonna cut them at 5 inch that way they're not gonna be sticking out too much and I can secure them over here so now I'm gonna cut four struts five inch long and we're gonna start mounting it over there now I'm just positioning these uh, nuts approximately where they're gonna go and I'm gonna start screwing the struts in and then we're just gonna make it tight after the cutting the bolts I also file them at the end over here so they somewhat rounded and they go in no problem then so i would recommend doing that fourth one okay not gonna make them tight yet just gonna leave them over here so right now i'm gonna measure actually these bolts from the all the way from the end to be the same length or distance i should say which is gonna be in my case i'm gonna leave it four inches and i'm actually gonna make this one somewhat tight and I'm gonna do the same one for this one which is somewhere which is somewhere over here all right so now that these bolts are tight I'm gonna put my board position this and make them tight and then secure them 
that way it's gonna be same distance hopefully it goes one two there we go now I'm gonna try to make sure that they in the middle like that that looks pretty good so now I'm gonna make this tight by hand now I'm gonna remove this now we're gonna put the nuts with the washers and make this tight now I'm just gonna put four washers some of them go easy some of them needs a little bit persuasion there we go all right now we're gonna put a uh, four nuts and make it tight and that should hold it in place there we go and now I'm gonna repeat this for all four of them and we should be good they all tight they not gonna go anywhere hopefully not gonna go anywhere so now let's see if this still matches our holes by the way the holes on the boards are just big enough to go over the nuts over there so that way it sits flash so isn't that beautiful so now we're gonna put the second board there you go now we're gonna drop down some washers over here Now, unfortunately, I miscount how many of the spring washers I'm gonna need. So I have only two left. So I'm just gonna put two for now, but I'm gonna go grab more and just add them later. Hey guys, it's me from the future. And as I promised, I added the remaining two missing uh, spring washers. I don't know if you can see them over there. So I was not lying, I did add them up. And spoiler alert, I also added the strap uh, it was not necessary because it's not gonna go anywhere the tie just for a peace of mind but yeah just for extra precaution all right let's get back to the video now to secure it from the top i went with this uh, stainless steel hand tied nuts i guess and i just picked them up from home depot and just go like this and twist it by hand and even that is already tight enough so now i'm gonna do for all the remaining three of them and that should be secured all right guys this is secure this is not gonna go anywhere even with vibration i'm gonna keep an eye on it as i drive i'm gonna be checking but i doubt it even with vibration it will gonna go anywhere so now i'm gonna work on a shovel now for this shovel i picked up from amazon this uh, rubber uh, quick straps now just the important part is just to figure out where exactly I'm gonna mount the shovel and then I'm gonna secure them and that should be it and all right guys we're almost there I actually had to make a trip to Home Depot and buy a different set of uh, these nuts because the ones I had were 3 8 but for this application I'm gonna need a quarter inch because uh, the hole as we here is small I already pre-drilled it bigger so hopefully this is gonna be big enough and it actually looks like it's gonna be uh, start raining soon so i better hurry up so once again we're gonna put these guys inside here just like that and then you twist them in place one and two now i also picked up this stainless steel half inch bolts so i have these washers i'm gonna use over here just gonna slide it in place and then that should be more than enough for this bolts and of course on the bottom i'm gonna use this oversized washer and now let's hope that it's all gonna work <laughs> and now i'm just gonna make it tight and just like that this is i don't think this is gonna go anywhere i mean i highly doubt that this is gonna go anywhere i think it's pretty tight it's not gonna go anywhere so now i'm gonna do the same thing with the other one and let's see if we can secure our shovel in there now so this is supposed to just go to the side like this and this is supposed to go in here like this okay maybe i'm gonna slide this actually more towards there like that and this is gonna be over here and let's see if this is gonna get secured here okay and now this part over here there we go and it's in 
and that's it guys the shovel is secured as you can see it's pretty sturdy it's not moving anywhere so I don't think it's gonna go anywhere from here and of course let's test the tailgate let's see if it opens it's not gonna it's not gonna interfere with our shovel and nope it does not interfere with our shovel so that's pretty much it we have our shovel secured and we have our recovery board secured I think it came out pretty good I'm still thinking whether I'm gonna paint them or not I mean even not painted they don't look too bad I might paint them I might not we'll see but this is a good initial base from here on I can start working and figuring out I have some ideas what I'm gonna have in the middle and maybe I'm gonna relocate the shovel or not but this is a good initial setup it's much be better in story than just this parts over here but yeah I don't think the shovel is going anywhere from here guys it's very secure I'm gonna keep an eye on it nor the recovery boards I think it's all good like that and all right guys that's pretty much it uh, like I said this is a good initial start uh, I just want to wrap up the video it's starting to rain there's a lot of videos with this kind of setup where people use uh, this type of uh, struts so you just use your imagination and how you want to set it up but it's very easy and cheap to do it and it's very strong and on this note i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you might find it helpful as always i'm gonna leave all the links in the description and until next time everybody bye